Hi everyone. Today we're talking confidence. You know, a question that, that I get a lot is, how are you so confident? Have you always been this confident? And it's not an easy question to answer, I guess, but I wanted to do a video and just kind of babble to all of you about confidence and what that means to me and I guess where my confidence comes from and maybe you guys can learn from how I've been able to become confident. Um, I think that there's definitely a, um, I think that confidence is often misrepresented, right? I think that people think that because I'm loud and I can speak well in front of a crowd that I am just automatically like the most confident person on the planet. Like I could just walk into any room and own it. And as much as I love myself, that's probably not the case, right? Um, I think that I can be confident in some situations and not so confident in other situations. And just be, again, speaking in front of a crowd definitely requires a sense of confidence. And I have friends that would never speak in front of a crowd. Like that would be their worst nightmare. They would be petrified. But those are people that can do things that I call confident that I can't do, you know? Um, off the top of off the top of my head, I remember in college, um, one of my closest friends today. Uh, she'll know who she is if she's watching. We were at um, like a dance club in college. It was called the Roxy in Orlando, where where I went to school. And um, she just like stomped up to the DJ booth to request a song and to have a conversation. And I just watched her like super nervous, and I'm like. I couldn't do that. Like, I'd be scared to just at this big nightclub in front of everyone, just like strap my stuff up to the DJ and have a conversation. I just remember looking at her like, oh my God, how, how is she doing this right now? And I said that to her after I was like, wow, you know, look at you. I, I'm so impressed. And, and she looked at me and said, what do you mean impressed? You, you like to do public speaking. That takes confidence, not this. And so I think it just goes to show that confidence is, is different things. It's different scenarios and something that you're confident in, I might not be so confident in. So um, I guess don't let one situation that you're scared of dictate your confidence level for everything else that you do. Because I can assure you that just because I can do certain things doesn't mean I'm super confident in other situations. Um, in fact, sometimes I can be just as insecure and frustrated and scared as anybody else. Um, I think if anything, I've become good at identifying situations from afar that make me a little nervous or situations that I know I'm not super confident going into. So because I'm able to identify those situations just after knowing myself and knowing what scares me for so long, I think I'm able to better prepare for those things. And, you know, I prepare in silly ways. Having a good outfit for that day. Something so silly, but sometimes if I know that I like what I'm wearing and I'm confident and I know it looks good, I'm more confident as a person. And again, I feel like that sounds silly because clothes shouldn't make you feel a certain way, but sometimes they do, right? Can you guys, I don't know, can you guys relate to me? Um, for example, sometimes I'll go to Fantastic Sam's and I will spend $35 to get my hair blown out because I know I'm walking into a situation where I don't feel very confident and having a great blow dry is just something silly that makes me feel good about myself. So I guess I try to identify situations where I don't feel that confident and I try to do small things that I know make me feel better so that I feel a little bit more prepared and a little bit better when I'm walking into certain situations. Um, I mean, I'll give you guys an example. Today at our office, right, we had this woman come and I wonder if she'll be watching this video, that'll be funny, but she is an expert in YouTube videos and she was coming to our office at Intern Queen and you know, Intern Queen, we're like the little YouTube channel that could, right? We're trucking along and this woman who's an expert in YouTube, she was coming to our office today and I found this out yesterday and she was just coming to just kind of see how we run things, give us her expert opinion. It was very nice of her. She was taking time out of her busy day to come here and I was kind of nervous, right? Like, you know, usually it's me and my team in the office. Usually we don't have like 
outsiders watching. So I wasn't super confident. I mean, I know that we like what we do, but we've never had someone from the outside come in. So last night, I mean, I stayed up until like one or two o'clock in the morning just preparing my speaking points for the day because I wanted to make sure that this one that I came across as you know good at what I was doing to this woman so I guess it's an example of me not feeling very confident but going above and beyond to do things that would make me feel just better right so for me being prepared is being confident so I stayed up so that I was super prepared for today um, I called Marisol who you guys have all heard of early this morning at like 8 a.m. I'm like Marisol when you get into the office today you have to print four copies of our schedule out and have our whole day mapped out we have to have a copy ready for this woman when she walks in the door. And again, I was going above and beyond to be extra prepared because I was walking into a situation where I wasn't the most confident. So, um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to share with you guys that at the end of the day, even me, your favorite intern queen, I'm not always the most confident. I can be insecure. I can second guess myself and I can do all of those things. Um, I just try to, I feel like whenever I'm not feeling very confident, I feel it in my stomach, right? I get like a little like tingle of butterflies in my stomach when I'm not feeling really confident about a situation. So when I feel that feeling, I try to think to myself, okay, what can I do to better prepare myself? Or what, what can I do to make myself feel better so that I can go into an unknown situation just a little bit more confident? I hope that was helpful learning about what confidence means to me and the times when I maybe feel really confident and the times when I don't. And uh, I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Have a good one.